and welcome to a conversation with Antonia Marie Watts, musician, songwriter, and author. I'm Michael Blackwell, and over the course of this interview, we're going to learn a little bit about two fascinating books written by Antonia. The first being My Guardian Angel. Hello, Antonia. Hello, Michael. So tell us, what is the premise behind My Guardian Angel? The beautiful musician, Shauna Caden, is abducted and prepared to be the sacrifice in a satanic ritual. However, she miraculously escapes with the help of the satanic high priest's right-hand man. As they run for their lives from the evil that pursues them, they become involved in a forbidden love affair that changes their lives forever. So how would you classify this book? I say a romance thriller with adult situations and strong language. Adult situations. Give us an, a, an example of an adult situation. I allow the readers to become part of a ritualistic human sacrifice. And I have been told by several of my readers that it was very frightening, which makes me feel good as an author that I could do that. So where was the lead character when she was abducted? An intense week-long biker rally where anything goes, which is, I mean, anything. Anything goes. Now, you said she escaped with the help of a satanic high priest's right-hand man. Why would he rescue her? You have to visualize a very petite young lady running right into a six foot five burly biker with black leather down to the ground. Um, he's got long hair down to his waist, full beard and cold soulless eyes. He reeks of meth, alcohol and smoke. But instead of backing away in fear, she extends her hand and shows him friendship. And that's something that he was not used to in the position that he was, especially not someone like her. So when it came time to kill her, he had second thoughts and couldn't go through with it. So the, sat the satanic high priest is important in this story. Yes, this villain is a very rich and powerful politician with all kinds of access to government systems uh, to track them. He has access to the media and he also conjures demons to follow them and hunt them and he has every intention of killing them. So this story has a paranormal aspect. Yes, it's a gradual escalation in this book where they are the dark shadows that haunt Shauna in her nightmares. However, by book two, the demons and angels begin to manifest. Since you classify this as a romance novel, did they become intimate during this escape? Yes, you have to think about two people from totally different backgrounds being thrown into a traumatic situation where all they have to do is cling to each other because they can't trust anyone else around them and they fall in love. So if they're running for their lives uh, with a satanic network chasing after them, why not just go into hiding? Because Shauna has three children that she adores and she could never walk away from them no matter how traumatic the situation. So do they ever get away? That's something I'd like everyone to read. <laughs>